Here on the desk, we've got a brand new four bay NAS from Azus Tor. That's right, you heard that right. A new investment division from Azus Tech that makes motherboards, graphics cards, all that goodness you're used to. And you may even want to think of it as as you store. Ooh, going a little bit different, but it's coming in at a really hard hitting price of 360 US dollars, four bay solution, hot swappable, supports RAID 0, 1, 5, 6, and 10. Today we're going to configure this in RAID 5 and take you through a little tour. But if you're in Australia, it costs 600 Aussie dollars. Now, what makes this so phenomenal in terms of its price performance is the fact that it's got a 10 gigabit per second Ethernet switch on board. So you can use this for so many more things than just simple file transfers too. And with those speeds, you can get much faster than your one gigabit per second or 125 megabytes per second. And with the drive configuration, we're using four Seagate Ironwolf Pro six terabyte drives. And these are configured, as we said before, in a RAID 5, essentially giving us three times the speed of a standard hard drive, but also giving us backup in the form of parity across all four drives. So if one of the drives drops out, we still have all those files backed up. Very interesting solution, fantastic for a Soho or even a small network at home. But when it all comes down to it, I think as you store files, this solution could be the best fit for a lot of people out there in the audience. Let's explain why. Welcome to Tech Yes City, and here we have this little unit here. It's actually on at the moment, and you can probably hear how quiet it is. The editor in the background there, Yusuf, he's actually using this at the moment, and it's in operation, and that's how quiet it is. So a benefit of that is you can manually change the fan speeds in operation, hot swap the drives as we said before, but you can also create individual users with ease, limit their access privileges, read and write operations or read only, and DA privileges. With the hardware inside, you've got a Marvel dual core CPU, two gigabytes of RAM, and you may be thinking, okay, the specs are a little bit lower than what I'm used to on a NAS, but I'm here to tell you that this thing is so quick, it's snappy. It's actually more responsive in my opinion than the QNAP NAS that we've recently tested. And that was boasting much higher specs, at least with its eight gigabytes of RAM. This thing is really quick. It's smooth on all devices we've tested here. You can use it from a smartphone, whether it be iOS or Android. You can also use it from Linux, Windows, or a Mac computer itself. So it's got all the configurations are readily available. The UI and feature set is so simple, yet does have all the features I would want from a NAS personally. The ability to install manual apps. They've got a heap of different apps to choose from as well. Plex Media Server, things like security surveillance, and you can hook up to 16 cameras up to this device at once. Not to mention you can customize the GUI with your own colors, themes, or even logos if you're a business. And back to the hardware itself, three switches, two one gigabit ports, and also an Acquaintia 10 gigabit per second ethernet cable. Now, if you've only got a one gigabit per second switch, but for instance, you've got a 10 gigabit NIC in your computer that you've been porting from build to build, since 10 gigabit per second switches can be very expensive, but you still wanna get faster than one gigabit per second speeds, then you can aggregate all three of these NICs into one and get essentially three gigabits per second speeds both over your switch and through this NAS itself, and then to your computer with its 10 gigabit per second NIC. And you also get a three year warranty and the dimensions are 24 centimeters by 33 by 21, weighs in at 3.5 kilograms without drives installed. It also is a complete toolless installation and you can remove the front cover with ease that is magnetic too. So now moving through some of the more intricate features with this NAS, you can remotely access your files via a WAN address by setting up a user login. You can also individually map separate user profiles as well as controlling LED brightness and you can actively monitor pretty much everything from different computers all at the same time up to a total of 512 connections to this NAS itself. It also supports iSCSI and you can change the different hibernation settings where the power consumption itself is around 50 to 60 watts when all four of these drives are in use, but on hibernation, it goes under 10 watts power consumption, which is very impressive. So you don't have to worry about leaving this thing on. It will do a good job of still using little to no power even while it's in a standby mode. You can also schedule this for daily, weekly, or even monthly health checks or even scans to optimize the drives themselves to make them faster. It'll also give you a readout of the drive's perceived health and how much life it has left. So if you need to change it out before it drops out, you can do so. Now with the little Azus Tor, there is no wireless built in itself. So I do recommend if you get it something like this, hooking it up via a switch and then having a wireless access point connected to that switch. And it's of course, essentially wireless now. 
And now lastly, with the AS4004T, I really like the robustness of this device. You can use it as a file storage server, you can use it as a surveillance camera app center, you can use it as a Plex media server, or you can even just watch movies directly off it, saving you the need to have a home theater PC as demonstrated when I hooked it up to my LG TV and just access the NAS through the web browser on that TV. I was able to play my favorite movies and files with ease and it worked absolutely fine. It's also got a built-in VPN app so you can use it across your network as a VPN and it also supports live transcoding too if you wish it to be working for you while it's sitting idly dormant. But now it's time for the conclusion. 360 US, this is the best thing I like about this device. It's coming in with a 10 gigabit per second ethernet switch on board. It also supports the three link aggregation. But moreover, the UI is so simple to use, it's gonna be a great and perfect solution for those that are budget conscious, but pretty much want the best value when it comes to a Soho NAS. And really when it comes down to it, I can't really critique anything about this device at all, except maybe the SATA 3 limits of the transfer speeds themselves, not being able to fully saturate the 10 gigabits per second connection. But again, at 360 US or 600 Aussie dollars, is that really going to be something that you're looking for in a unit so cheap? But ultimately, when it comes down to it, build quality, it's quiet, it's just packed with features, so easy to use. Bang, I love this thing. It's actually gonna be replacing the QNAP here, which, um, yeah. That's how much I like this thing. And big thanks for Azus Tor for sending this unit out for review. Also big thanks to Seagate for providing the hard drives installed in this unit as well. The six terabyte hard drives are really high quality. I've been using the 10 terabytes here on the QNAP device and they have been flawless the whole time this thing has been in my studio. So they are units that I can recommend. If you wanna check out more details, then links will be in the description below. And that's about it really guys. I hope you enjoyed this review. If you did, then be sure to hit that like button. Let us know in the comments section below if you have any questions or comments about the ASUS Tor AS4004T and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Also, there is two USB 3.1s as well, which you can plug drives up to directly and transfer files to the NAS that way, or you can hook up a printer to it if you wish to. But also there's no VGA outputs as well. So you will have to access this device through your switch router or computer directly and it does hook up directly to computers with ease too very simple to use as opposed to other nasas that i've used in the past they have been a little bit difficult to hook up directly to computers more so than hook up to a switch anyway i'll catch you in another tech video very soon peace out for now bye but let explain but let us a zeus tech Devices we've tested here. You can use it from a smartphone, whether it be Android or. Shut up, whistle.